Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about dining in the 1960s, and a special part of dining in the 1960s, and that is TV dinners. Now, I would imagine that a lot of younger people today might not even have the faintest idea what a TV dinner was. Well, TV dinners were a phenomena of the 1950s and 60s. And it was designed uh, to work hand in hand with all the new technology and also the fact that the television, which was relatively a new thing in the 50s and 60s, um, uh, was such a major focus and a major part of family life. And so the idea behind the TV dinner was it was a frozen dinner. Chicken, turkey, Salisbury steak, stuff like that. And it would have, you know, like some kind of gravy. It would have potatoes that were powdered, instant potatoes with margarine. And you'd have a vegetable and a dessert of of uncertain origin, let's just put it that way. <clears throat> and you'd have to preheat your oven, and then you'd cook them for 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes, out came your whole dinner, everything cooked. Now, there was more to the whole thing, because you didn't want to have your TV dinner in the kitchen or the dining room table. You set up television TV trays and you would have them and you'd fold them put them at your chair and you'd put your TV dinner on the TV tray the television tray whichever way you want to call it and watch you could watch television while you ate this was the beginning of the change of society it's an interesting thing when you think about it because before that time, you know, dinner was very much a family affair. But once the television started to become a facet of, of life, and granted, you know, in the 1950s and 60s, television was still to a degree in its infancy and had lots of things that are going to change, but it was, in a sense, in many respects, television was televised radio. You know, you had all the variety shows and the comedy shows and all the old vaudevillians were still doing television at that time. And you would have your TV dinner watching that. It was an interesting period of time. Today, uh, the TV dinner, no one even talks about them really much anymore. They've kind of gone the way of the dodo. But it was such a major, it's hard for people to realize how much of a major um, event it was and how cool it was for kids. I'm having a TV dinner. It made you feel almost like an astronaut in a sense because that was a lot of the whole idea behind the TV dinner was the fact that it's so modern, it's, it's new age and it's the dinners of the future. It was actually crap with very little nutrition, but we didn't know. Nobody thought about nutrition in the 1950s and 60s. It wasn't something that was talked about. Our uh, food coloring and things like that. It wasn't until the, the mid 60s that we started having warning on cigarette packs. I mean, before that time, everybody smoked. I went to my doctor, he'd be smoking a cigarette. I went to the store, everybody would be smoking cigarettes. You'd watch television, and your newscaster would be smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you know, I, I can always remember watching Edward R. Murrow. I mean, he was famous for sitting there. He always had a cigarette in his hand. And so we would watch our television, whatever the show may be, and have our TV dinner. And if you actually wanted to make a snack, you might want to have popcorn. Of course, this is the age before the microwave. 
we don't realize how much the microwave has totally changed and transformed society and, and the world. Because you might want to make popcorn. And so you would pop uh, like Jiffy Pop. And it would be a metal tray with a handle uh, with tin foil on top. And you'd put it over the tray and you'd sit there and shake it and cook it and work on it for five minutes. And eventually it would puff up and then you'd eat your popcorn. No such thing as like microwave popcorn and the stuff that we have today. You know, you have generations of people that have grown up now with microwaves. And you don't realize how different it was and how exciting it was. In just 45 minutes, you could have your dinner, which is really kind of cool. Of course, if you wanted to do a little faster, you took them out earlier in the day and defrosted them. And then you put them in the oven and it didn't take as long. One other thing to mention is the fact that uh, I remember my first job. Uh, I was working a midnight shift. I was working midnight to 8 o'clock in the morning. And, of course, I had to bring a bag with me with a hot plate, a pan, a can of food, a can opener, and a dish, and a spoon or fork, whatever I was making. And I needed all that to make something to eat. Or just bring a sandwich or stuff like that. But if I wanted to have a, a hot meal, I had to go bring all of these various accoutrements. And today, you bring your instant or frozen whatever it may be, throw it in the microwave, and it's done. Interesting how much the world has changed and how much society has changed because of the uh, the creation of the microwave. Something we really don't even think about because today no one really sits there and looks at the microwave and goes, wow, it's looked as part of life that everybody has a microwave. And I think at this point in time, it's it's, it's more rare to find a home that doesn't have a microwave because the microwave has transformed, as I mentioned, society. Thank you.